hope they don't bite my arm off. our Myrtle Beach vlogs actually happened. It has been such an awesome summer, ending with the best day ever. My little sister got married. It was awesome. It was such a party. It was a great way to end our summer at home. So now it is finally time to get back on the road, but before we start our international travels, we actually have one more adventure here in the U.S. We've been invited down by the Florida Keys and Key West to experience the best that the Keys have to offer. We've been like planning this itinerary with them for the past few weeks and we are so excited about it. We're going to pick up a rental car right now. That's it. Anything? Oh no. That's this it. is the best. That's it. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. So before we even like knew we were gonna be in a convertible, which I'm still not sure how we ended up here, I, this was like the most efficient rental car checkout that I've ever been a part of. Like I usually dread this and this has been fantastic. And I think they were just giving out cars. Like he was like, which one do you want? Oh, the convertible? Yeah, sure, why not? And now we are in a convertible and we're road tripping through the keys. This week is gonna be amazing. Let's go! Take me to the Hawks K Resort. Now I have a two hour drive to Duck Key. This is crazy! So the original plan today was for us to go deep sea fishing, but unfortunately when we landed in Miami, I got a call from the captain. He said the weather was too bad to go out today and they didn't have any more boats left. So we're not going to get to do that, which makes me really sad because deep sea fishing is one of my favorite things to do. And some of the best fishing in the world is supposed to be here in the Florida Keys, but we may get to do it tomorrow afternoon. I really like deep sea fishing because I just like to get a tan and be on a boat. But our plan B is not too shabby. We just got to lunch. It is a restaurant called Robbie's and they're supposed to have the best fish tacos ever. And I love fish tacos, so I'm super excited about this. Enjoy you guys. I love it, thank you. We got a key lime colada because we're in the Keys. We have to get key lime everything this week. Putting the best fish tacos in the world to the test. I mean, she likes them. <laughs> yes. I got the blackened mahi mahi fish tacos. The flavor on the fish is like the best I've ever had. And the tomatoes on top. This is awesome. They have a dock that you can walk out on. It's surrounded by tarpon, which are like these massive fish. I promise some of these fish are bigger than I am. And you can buy a bucket of dead fish and feed the tarpon with your hands. So I've actually been to the Keys once before and I've done this and I just remember it being absolutely terrifying. 
There's no way not to quench. I'm pretty scared. They're just circling, yeah. waiting. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Did he get it? That one. Oh gosh! <laughs> <laughs> Just like face to face, his mouth is coming towards my face. Oh, so I'm pretty sure he could eat my head. Oh! <laughs> Seriously, I was like, I'm gonna hold the fish and I'm not gonna move my hand, and it's impossible. There's a sign that says they bite. What if it bites me? Do they have teeth? I don't think, I think it's like sandpaper. Really hope they don't bite my arm off. Ah! <laughs> I thought it was gonna bite my arm. I thought the fish. Everybody just looked at me. Okay, I'm gonna be more brave this time. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to Come to the Keys, you have to come to Robbie's, you have to feed the tarpon because there's nothing else like it, and you have to find our dollar bill. It is on a wakeboard above a door. Take a picture with it and send it to us. Is this? I think we have a pool front view. Woo! Look at our huge porch. And there's a gift. Oh my. Please. As soon as we got to the hotel, 3 a.m. really caught up with this, so we spent the last like hour or two resting. In the AC, which is why my glasses are kind of fogging up right now. And now we are going to dinner. We have reservations at a place that looks really good, and we get to take our really nice car. It. Hello everybody. How's it going? I'm doing well, how are you? I love our table, I love sitting outside, and I love live music, and I love sunsets. So I'm not going to try to hide it, we're getting a little bit of special treatment tonight and we're eating at a super fancy restaurant. The chef just cooked this in an appetizer. It is, what is it called? Sesame seared scallops on a bed of golden raisin risotto. And it looks incredible. This is like so pretty, I don't even want to cut it. I feel so bad about that. <laughs> They want the best things we've ever put <gasps> What? I mean, seriously, why? I really don't even love scallops, but that one is like so soft. They're usually a little chewy. Oh 
my gosh. So far, best appetizer I've ever had. Bread is like way up there on some of the best bread I've ever had. If the entree is anything close to that, it's going to be one of my favorite restaurants ever. This is one of the best sunsets I've ever seen, and I know it's good because the waitresses and the waiters, the locals, are going out and taking pictures of the sunset. So it's pretty cool that you can live here and not get tired of that. It's so good! I think that goes down as one of my favorite meals. I don't know if it was just the atmosphere or if I just haven't had that kind of seafood in so long. Everything was amazing. I am so tired now. I think I'm just gonna go back and crash in our big fluffy bed. After we drive home with the top down. I might still so excited about this convertible. <laughs> I won't get over it the whole week. Bed test. Ready? Are you? You killed it. Oh.